Good afternoon. I hope you're having a good day. Today, my family is getting ready to go on a short vacation. We rented a house for a few days on the shores of Lake Michigan and are taking a road trip. Because we will be in the car for several hours, one of the first things I want to do is clean out the car and take it to the car wash. I'll start by gathering up all the toys and clutter and junk that is collected in our car over the past few weeks, and then I'm going to remove the mats and the car seats and vacuum everything. One of a kind, one of the better boys I'm on your level, that's what you say But all I hear is noise I don't have time for Trying my luck, I've been too hurt before You're not that special, just give it up I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter you do guess i have to tell you again cause you haven't got the news but you really need to understand that i don't want to be your For those of you who have watched my prior Clean With Me videos, you'll know that one of my favorite cleaning hacks is an old empty spice jar filled with baking soda. I'm going to sprinkle that on this area here under the car seats and let it sit, and then I'm going to vacuum it up, and it'll get rid of any of the lingering unpleasant smells. I'm not big on air fresheners. I find that the scents tend to be too strong for me, and I end up with a headache. So something like this really helps my home and my car smell fresh without being super perfumed. And you guys get to mix it. Okay? It I don't mix it. I want to mix it. I do. Can I mix it too? Yeah. We need to mix it a lot. Can I go? I because we rented a house instead of staying in a hotel, we'll be able to have some local friends and family visit with us while we're on vacation. Our plan is to go to an apple orchard with some family members on the first day, go hiking with some friends on the second day, and on the last day, we're just going to spend it relaxing before we head home. Each night, we're going to come back to the house and cook dinner. So to prepare, we're bringing groceries with us in a cooler. Right now, the kids and I are going to make some cookies to share and also snack on over the weekend. As always, I have included notes about or links to any recipes that I make in my videos in the description box. So these are pinwheel cookies. We will be making a batch of kind of like sugar cookie dough and then dividing it in two. One half is going to be almond flavored, the other half is chocolate. After rolling out the dough and chilling it, you stack the two sheets of dough on top one of another 
and then roll them so they make a spiral pattern. Then the tube of dough goes back in the freezer and we cut them and bake them. It occurred to me that I should probably explain that we make most things from scratch in our house. I don't do it because I want more work or because I'm opposed to store-bought ingredients or anything like that. Uh, my husband has a soy allergy, and most baked goods and desserts at stores in our area contain soy. We've found it's just safer if we make it at home. It's been a nice bonus, though, that most things taste better when they're made fresh or when they're homemade. I normally don't record more than one dessert recipe for a single video, but this one is just too delicious not to share. Since we're going apple picking, I'm going to put together a quick and easy jar of salted caramel sauce so that we can have caramel apples when we get home. It's only four ingredients, sugar, butter, cream, and salt, and it takes t less than 10 minutes to put together. You just melt the sugar in a saucepan, then add the butter, cream, and salt. Let it cool and put it in a mason jar. Keep it in the refrigerator and it's ready when you want it. You only call me on the weekends when you're out in a boat. Only chasing as you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need, ain't gonna lie. I know what I want, speak in my mind now. The queen needs a kid to be by herself. As with most weeks, of course I have a mountain of laundry to get through. The bright side is I get the chance to watch a few minutes of a show while I fold the laundry. Lately I've been watching the latest season of Indian Matchmaker on Netflix. I also just finished Only Murders in the Building on Hulu. I love Selena Gomez. I feel like everything she does is amazing. 
I definitely have a short list of people that if I see a show or a movie with them, I know I'm going to watch it because it's going to be good. Selena Gomez is on that list. Also Reese Witherspoon. What about you? Do you have a list of, oh, it has so-and-so in it? And no, that's going to be good. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you've been watching lately. I just finished up Indian Matchmaker and now I'm looking for something else good to watch. Also, does anybody else have kids that love to lay in your clean, newly folded laundry? Now that laundry's done, I'm going to gather up all of our clothes for the trip. I lay each thing out in outfits so that I can make sure that I have everything. Then once everything's gathered, I'll get it all put into the suitcase. So I ordered these medicine containers on Amazon. My kids and I take vitamins every day, and I also want to have some basic medications with us, you know, pain relievers, stomach medicine, that kind of thing. But I don't want to have to take half a dozen bottles. So I'm going to label these containers and use them while we're on vacation. So we're finally at the vacation house. I'm going to unpack everything and then unwind with a nice cup of tea and some of the pinwheel cookies we made. We had a wonderful, relaxing vacation. It was nice to get away and to have a break from our day-to-day -day routine. I have included a few highlights at the end of this video. I hope you had a relaxing week and thank you for watching. You're all alone in the back of my mind. I'm under your spell, I can't get out. Falls five below, and I'm still here. I'm freezing cold. 